If you are not seeing conversions in your Google Ads display campaign within the first seven days of starting that campaign, this is because you have set up your campaign incorrectly and you are also using the wrong optimization methods. And this is the largest problem that I see with Google Ads display campaigns, is that people are just throwing together some different images, some ad headlines and descriptions, and hoping to see results. And if this is you, all you're doing is you're willingly giving Google permission to just waste your ads budget with no conversions. Because the fact is, when they're set up and optimized correctly, Google Ads display campaigns are a highly profitable and valuable part of your overall Google Ads strategy. And also, don't think that display campaigns are only for those bottom of the funnel conversions. Because if you set them up and use them correctly, they can also be a valuable resource finding out and discovering new audiences at the top of the funnel, which are gonna be highly converting and highly profitable audiences for your business. And the best part about your display campaigns is that they always have a much lower cost per click than your search or your shopping campaigns. So if you've had a bad experience with display campaigns, the issue is not the display campaign, but the issue is likely to be how you set up that campaign and how you optimize that campaign. So in this video, I'm gonna show you not only what the setup on my display campaigns looks like, but how I go through and optimize my display campaigns so that they're seeing conversions week in and week out. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And to help you create your very own highly profitable Google Ads display campaigns, I've put together my Google Ads display campaign setup guide. And this is a free guide which you can download just by following the link in the description below. And this guide is gonna show you the step-by-step -step process that you need to use in order to set up your display campaigns in the correct way. So if you wanna get your copy right now, just follow that link in the description to get yours today. When it comes to Google Ads display campaigns, the most important thing is that you need to have these structured correctly. And to correctly structure a Google Ads display campaign is that you wanna have different ad groups which are targeting different types of audiences. And let me show you right now what that looks like. So this is a new display campaign that we started in on this 20th of August. And as you can see, straight away within the first couple of days, we started to get these conversions coming through. Now, the reason for why we were able to see so much success with this display campaign and why I generally will always see really quick conversion actions occurring. What we actually do when we go through and set up our display campaign, we don't just put everything into the same ad group because what I do is I break it into at least three, but usually four different ad groups. And the way that I break this down is I firstly have an ad group, which I call affinity. And in this ad group, I group together audiences which are all related to the target product. So for example, if we were targeting fitness gear, this ad group would have a lot of audiences in and around fitness users, people who go to gyms, and people who are interested in health and fitness. And then the next ad group I have, which is what I call a similar audiences ad group. Now, the one thing I do wanna mention with my display campaigns is that I generally don't start them until I've had other campaigns running for about 90 days. And the reason for that is because that then allows Google to build these similar audiences. And I fill up this ad group with similar audiences, like similar to all website visitors and similar to all converters. And then this third and fourth ad groups are around people who have previously been to our website. So this first ad group, if you've got this tracking, and this is easily done with Shopify, because this will automatically set up for you in your Google Ads account, is that I have previous converters and also cart abandoners. And I find this one to be a really powerful audience because we're retargeting our products to people who have started that checkout process but haven't completed it. And then finally, I have your traditional remarketing ad group. So the first thing I want you to notice with my display campaigns is that we're not just limiting it to that remarketing audience or even to that bottom of the funnel in converters and cart abandoners. We're also using it to target that top of the funnel affinity and also similar audiences. And that is the reason for why I have different ad groups in this display campaign campaign. So a core benefit of setting up your display campaigns with different ad groups based around different groupings of audiences is that this allows you to see very clearly which audiences are going to be more profitable for your own campaign in regards to conversions and also your conversion rate and your click-through ratio. And then after you have your display campaign set up with those different ad groups, the next step of the process is to go about starting to optimize your Google Ads display campaign. Now, one of the main ways in which you can do this is to run different split tests 
for your display images and also you add headlines and descriptions but that's something we're not going to go through in today's video because that's what I find most people are doing by default in their display campaigns in that they are running some different split tests. But a core factor which is missed in optimizing Google Ads display campaigns is that people do not filter out where their ads are showing. And this is one of the most powerful ways that you can optimize to increase the performance of your Google display campaign. Because by completing this action, rather than just wasting more and more money while Google does some different split tests, you can review the data manually and then exclude some different placements. And by completing this option, we're forcing Google to put the ads in only the areas, so the different websites and apps where we know we're getting higher click-through ratios and then ultimately higher conversions. And right now, I wanna show you how to complete this optimization process because you need to go into the section in your display campaign which says, see where your ads are showing. And to be able to review this data and then add in those extra optimizations, you wanna go into the content section and then click on this tab where ads are showing. And you can view this at either the campaign level or ad group level. And at the moment, I've got this at the ad group level. And what we can do through here is that we can review this data based by the impressions and the clicks. So firstly, if we review this by the conversion data by clicking on the conversion tab, we can see the different apps and also the different websites which have been generating our conversions. And then what I like to do is I like to go through and filter this by clicks because what this is starting to show me is this is starting to show me where we are spending the most amount of money. And what I I want to be checking for and making sure is that we're getting conversions where we're spending money. So with this first line we can see in here and remembering this campaign has only been going for the first seven to ten days so we will be working on lowering this cost per conversion down further and further. But what I'm looking at doing in this initial process is I'm looking to rule out any apps or websites where we've seen a large number of impressions and cost with no conversions yet. So you can see this one through here where we've got close to 200,000 impressions and under 200 clicks and we haven't seen any conversions yet for that $185 spent. So we'll add this one and then we can also go through these next couple where we're seeing that they're spending the most amount of money with no conversions. So I select those and then we click edit and we exclude from the ad group and we can also exclude it from the campaign if we wanted to. But given that I'm viewing this at an ad group level, I'm gonna exclude it from the ad group and then from from there, we just continue to go right down the list and looking at excluding any websites or apps where we've seen a high number of impressions. And generally what I'd be looking at is that once these websites or apps have had 5,000 impressions and if they aren't generating any conversions yet, I would be excluding them. So for example, we're still happy to keep this one in here, but for this one down here, which has had 18,000 impressions, we want to exclude that one as well. So we add that to the list and then go through the excluding process again. So by completing this process every 72 hours in that first couple of weeks and then eventually you can move it out to a weekly process you're very quickly starting to filter and focus your spending on the websites and apps where you know that you're getting a high level of click-through ratio and also a high conversion rate for your display campaign and this is one easy action that you can complete in your Google display campaigns which can very quickly turn your campaign around from one that waste money with no conversions through to one which is creating conversions for you every single day. Now, what I do need to stress that if you wanna be able to carry out that process in the correct way, you need to firstly make sure that you've got your Google Display campaign set out in that correct manner using those different ad groups. And remember what I said at the start of the video, that if you wanna complete this correctly, all you need to do is you need to go through, follow that link in the description below, so that you can download your free copy of my Google Ads Display Campaign Setup Guide. And if you wanna see how to do this in a step-by-step -step process, just go through and watch this video right here because I take you through all of the individual steps and how to correctly set up your Google Ads Display Campaign. Thank you again, see you in that video very soon.